Man, it is nasty out there. What is up, YouTube? It is a terribly disgusting day outside. From the moment I woke up this morning, it has just been raining, it's been overcast, it's like the roads and the side streets are all flooded. It is disgusting. I had plans today, me and Ankrum were actually gonna go look at cars, do a little bit of car shopping just to kind of see if anything caught our eye. And unfortunately, not only is this weather terrible, Ankrum's sick, Nate was sick over the weekend, and today I don't feel the best. I might be coming down with something too, so <laughs> fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. And when you are cutting like I am. It's not so pronounced in the beginning, but as you move through a cut and you really start pushing your body to the limit, you're working out, you're eating clean, and you're really dieting, you're in a calorie deficit, your body is more susceptible to sicknesses and catch bugs and stuff like that. So I'm not feeling the best. I'm going to try to take it easy today, although I'm still going to hit the gym and do everything I need to do. But that is basically this day in a nutshell so far. But I'm not going to let the clouds and the rains get me down. We're still going to get everything done we need to get done today. So I just realized that when I opened my fridge, I am out of prepped meals. There's no prepped meals in here. So I need to do a little bit of meal prepping. And I have my carbohydrates already prepped from a few days ago when I did the brown rice and sweet potato. So really I just need some protein. So I have some chicken breast. I think I'm gonna get ready to prep, but I don't feel really feel like messing with it. So we're just gonna make this easy. So let's get to it. Nice, there we go. Okay guys, I have two packs of chicken breast that I really don't feel like messing with right now. Like I said, I'm not feeling the best, so I think we're just gonna crock pot these bad boys. Does that sound like a good idea? I think it does. All right, essentials. We got ourselves a cutting board, we got our chicken, and we got some meat shears. Don't discount meat shears. Some people make fun of me for using these, I'm telling you. Makes this whole process way easier. Got ourselves our crock pot bowl. We're gonna put all the chicken in. Now you might have seen me do this a few times on my channel. I'm a huge fan of putting chicken or other proteins in my crock pot, chicken especially though. But one thing you wanna make sure you do before you do this, like I said, I know I'm probably covering something I've covered in a previous video, but we add new subscribers all the time. I try to make sure everybody gets the maximum amount of value out of these videos. The trash can close by, sitting here for the trimmings. And as we can see on these, we got these nasty white fatty pieces. Some people, you can just throw these in here if you want, but I'm the type of guy, I'm trying to minimize all the fat intake I can get from my chicken breast, while also making sure there's no nasty gristly pieces that I'm gonna accidentally munch on while I'm doing this. So I'll just kind of go through, remove some of these pieces, toss them into the trash can. We're gonna go around the outside. Using my meat shears, go around the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Comment below if you have any idea what song that was. All of my 90s kids will know exactly what I'm talking about. And if not, then you didn't live when the greatest music ever was created. <laughs> okay, so check this out. We basically have this completely cleaned up. No real, I mean, there's a couple little straggling white pieces, but we're not going to be too concerned about those guys. Just the majority of the fat's gone and we cut off any of the gristly. So place it in my crock pot bowl. Well, boom. That easy. So I think you guys get the gist. I have two packets in total to go in here. We're talking about, this is four pounds of chicken. How much is this one? Peel this layer back. This was about four pounds too. So we're literally right at about eight pounds of chicken that I'm gonna cook in this prep. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna bore you guys with this. I'm gonna cut away and I will be right back. All right, guys, we are down to our final piece of chicken we need to put in the crock pot, but I just wanted to show you something real quick and kind of how I do this. As you can see, I have all my chicken in here. I've trimmed it all up. Now, if you look closely, you can see kind of in here, there's seasonings on that first layer. And I'm using so much chicken that like, basically the first packet was the bottom layer and the second packet is the top layer. But what I'll do is put the bottom layer on, then I'll take myself some seasonings here. I'm using Zesty Blend, garlic and herb, salt-free seasonings. If you don't have this, I buy this at Kroger, but basically this is off-brand Mrs. Dash seasonings. I'm just trying to keep my sodium a little lower. So like I said, I coat the bottom layer, then I'll coat the top once I put it in. So we take this, place it in here. Nice. Then I'm going to take my seasoning and add the layer all over it. Boom. There we go. I might use a little too much seasoning, but I'm telling you, crock pot chicken is not the best tasting chicken you'll ever have. I think it tastes better when I fry it or grill it, but this is the most convenient method. And don't pay any mind to all these bowls and meal prep containers I have laying here. When I'm meal prepping from home and eating out of my house a lot, I kind of just leave stuff away. I really need to do my dishes, but hey, don't knock me on it, guys. Don't knock me on it. Well, all I'm gonna do at this point is hit my button here, four hours on high, and this will be done. So that's it. I know right now it's about 4 p.m. At eight tonight, this chicken will be done and I'll be good to go. So in the meantime, I'll probably have some tuna or something like that that I don't have to prep. But for now, this is good. This will get me prepped out. Eight pounds of chicken probably last me four to five days.
So while that's cooking, like I said, I don't have anything to eat right now, but the key to this lifestyle is finding easy little things that are adaptable that if you need to, you can implement on the fly to hit your macros and get everything going. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things right now. Check this out. We got the old hidden cupboard here. Perfect. Check these out, guys. Look at this, Tuna Creations Hot Buffalo Style. I've put these in past videos, but boy on a cut, these are amazing. Now buffalo, I don't find that these are very spicy at all. So out of all the other flavors, there's also like lemon and pepper, and there's some other ones, but some of them have added sugar and carbs I don't want. Lemon and pepper is actually really close to this macronutrient wise, but we look at the label on the back, and if you can see that, we only have one gram of fat, no carbs, and 15 grams of protein per packet. So easy, awesome to implement, and literally it's ready to go. Open the packet, put it in a bowl, eat it out of the packet, whatever, and you are good. So let's do a taste test. Nah. All right, music's paused, guys, and we're getting ready to enjoy this meal right here. Oh, let me grab this. Guys, I am officially addicted to this right here. This chili garlic paste, I'm not sure exactly what it is, from the same people that make sriracha. And I talk about this, I think in the video I filmed yesterday, I lose track, guys, I'm filming so much of what I got going on. But sriracha I avoid because there's sugar added to it. This has nothing in it other than a little sodium. So as you've seen though, from that little thing I just put together, we did two of the tuna creations and one can of tuna. That's enough flavor, kind of disperses throughout the entire thing, keeps our sodium a little lower and protein higher. This meal right here, just alone, three grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, and 56 grams of protein. I'm telling you guys, with stuff like tuna, egg whites, some of those almost pure protein sources, it is not hard to hit your protein macros. Protein being the most thermogenic of all macronutrients. It is the hardest macronutrient for your body to break down and turn into fuel. So in turn, you burn more calories, the more protein you eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's science, people. Some people are gonna call me out for that, but I'm telling you, uh, there, there's some science behind that. A little bit of this, a little bit of this goes a long way, mix it all together, and let's see how she is. Mm. Perfect, so good, so good. Okay, so this day, I'm filming later than normal because I had a lot of work to do this morning, but ADT came today, the security system company. If you're not from the United States, ADT might be worldwide, I'm not sure. They install security systems for houses. So today, they came and installed mine. So I've been dealing with that most of the morning. You know, I was reaching a point, now that I'm kind of traveling more for business, and I know I'll be attending more expos this year now that my business has grown and the YouTube thing, and I'm just gonna be moving around a lot more, collaborations and stuff. I wasn't comfortable not having a security system on my house, so I got that installed today. It gives me a camera view, as well as a motion detector. All my doors and everything are alarmed. Everything's cool now. Straight access to my phone so I can see in my house while I'm gone. I can disarm it, arm it for people if I have someone stopping over to check on the house. Peace of mind, guys, peace of mind. It's only like $55 a month. And some people might think that's a waste of money. But personally, guys, peace of mind, I'm telling you, is so much more valuable than really any dollar amount. Like, I have a lot of valuable stuff here. I got my entire business, basically, in this house. If someone breaks in and steals everything I have, then I'm back at square one. One. So peace of mind is of the utmost priority to me right now. So anyways, I'm gonna eat this, running behind today. I'll show you my security system here in a little bit, but I need to run to the gym and then I do need to stop by Subzilla. Apparently there's this new fat burner out Anchor's been telling me about. He's gonna give me a good deal on it. So I'm gonna stop and check it out from the makers of Limitless, by the way. If you guys know Limitless, which is like one of my favorite pre-workouts of all time, they have a fat burner. And I figured, hey, we're on this cut. I'm eight days in today and I'm feeling really good, guys. Feeling really lean. And I felt like maybe it's time to introduce a little bit of a fat burner, maybe for a couple of weeks, see exactly how I respond. So that's what's on the game plan, but I'm gonna finish this and then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. And you guys made me feel bad about all my dirty dishes. So I am going to do my dishes now, just for you guys. Similar fashion to how I do my laundry. You just throw as much in there as will fit. This, there's like a tray here to put soap in. I don't even use that tray because I don't even think it works anymore. So basically I just open up my soap here Kind of just stand back and hit it with the, uh, oh crap. Okay, that was a dumb idea. I got that on the floor. But anyways, you guys get the point. Just kind of woo, have a little college fun with it. And then we're gonna close you up. And that's that people. Pots and pans, high temperature, sandy rinse, Lego. Boom! All right, a quick gym bag diagnostics check. We got sweat stained RJF hat for cardio. Ooh, but check. We got sweat-stained RJF camo 
Look how long the bill looks with this angle. Quack, quack. <laughs> Sweat stain RJF camo hat for cardio. Gross. Check. We got RJF cut off. Ooh. Green for the transition from cardio to lifting. Check. And then we got an extra shirt, some headphones. We got some pure pump. Perfect. I think this is everything we need, boy. Everything we need. And we got our jug. 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 Bye-bye dishes. Clean well. Clean well. Up. Oh man, so beautiful outside. This weather's gorgeous. I can't get used to seeing this rental car out here, guys. I cannot wait to have my car back. And here we are in the rental. Check this thing out, guys. Have you been in this yet? Hold on, I gotta adjust a couple settings. Okay, guys, this is the rental car. Check her out. We got plenty of leg room in this back. Ooh, are those cuts? Are those cuts on the legs? <laughs> uh, so we got the rental. Um, it's a rental. It's a water jello. That's mine. That didn't come with it. Gym bat, mine again. Crap, I'm not good at this whole review thing. We got a back seat. Um, wooden ice scraper. Well. Hey, the features, guys, the features of Hertz, they just give you all the luxury amenities. And back seat, and yeah, it's a rental. And there's a toggle switch for air conditioning. Um, silver, we got a little stowaway compartment in there. Ooh, hide stuff in there, cops will never find it. <laughs> so basically, guys, that is my Nissan Ultima review. Hold on, something on the lens. There we go. Now, I'm gonna show you guys my security system real quick. Tell me how cool this is. Okay, so we log into the ADT app. Here we go, see that right there? That view, that is a camera of my house. That's aiming right into my kitchen. I can check that camera and see if anybody's intruding <laughs> into my home, as well as we have alarms on both doors. We have a full siren alarm that'll go off if anybody comes in, and I can also get on here Hit this button and I can go arm away, boom, and voila. Now, if anybody goes into my house and triggers the motion alarms, any of those little doors go off or anything, guys, we are good to go. This will alert me and I will be just fine. Plus, this is also set up to if anybody walks in and this camera catches any motion, it'll snap pictures for 30 seconds while recording video. That way I can catch the intruder with his pants down. Well, not with his pants. You get a, It's an expression. I'm not trying to catch intruders with their pants down. Literally, you get what I'm saying, but pretty cool, guys. Happy to have this installed. So anyways, let's hit the gym. What is up guys, workout is finished. I hit a pretty nice back session. I didn't have the time I needed to really go too in depth with it, but I ended up doing a lot of supersets, got a lot of good volume in, feeling pretty good. The only downside is I've been low carb for a little bit. Urgh, look at that. See, I got a good pump, I'm looking lean, but like today I just wasn't like, I was getting tired easier and I was fatiguing easier, which is all a part of the process. When you are on lower calories and you're cutting and you're doing your cardio, you're in an energy deficit. Your body wants energy, it doesn't have that easy convertible energy that's in your stomach normally when you're eating enough so it has to burn fat right but when it's burning fat that's a much harder process for the body to do than it is to just eat food that's readily available so in turn you get tired easier you fatigue faster you're out of breath more often and it's just a side effect of cutting but it's all part of the process so i don't look at that as a negative i look at that as a positive which means my body is doing what i need to do and it's easy to skip the gym and be like you know what i don't want to go today i'm tired i don't feel very good like earlier i was telling you guys i wasn't feeling the best but now that i went in there got my workout done I feel 100 times better. Not 100%, but 100 times better. So anyways, guys, we are gonna go to Subzilla. I'm gonna go in there, see what old Anchor Mouse has to say, maybe pick up a couple supplements, and yeah, I'm taking you guys with me. So I'll see you there. Boom. Subzilla. Gotta lock the rental. Can't have nobody stealing this. Yeah. So now that you're done with the customer service, how you feeling? I told him you weren't feeling too good today. Oh, feeling all right. Feeling, feeling right, better? Like, uh... I'm settled right now. I haven't eaten anything. Haven't eaten? Still not yet? No. Oh man. Not one thing. I told him I was kind of feeling it earlier, but uh, it's kind of wore off a little bit. I'm feeling a little better. Yeah, Mr. The Dream was in here for <laughs> 15 minutes yesterday and got me sick. Oh, The Dream. Oh, uh, that Peter Glossenberg wannabe son of a... He is, right? <laughs> he is. All right, so show me the fat burners, man. What do we got? All right, you wanna look at the Enduraline? Yeah, is that the good one you've been telling me about? That is the new one. Duraline will all be. So this is from the makers of Limitless, right? Yes, Nova Farm. Yeah. Nice. Um, what's really cool about it? So like their Aferlean and like their non, which is their non-stem fat burner. They got their Focus pill in there, about 250 milligrams of caffeine. They also have the same that two amino six 
that's in Limitless. That okay. Focus, same focus as in Limitless. As in really? Limitless. So I'm basically, it's like taking Limitless without the pre-workout stuff, but made for fat burning. Essentially. It's almost, and you can even take it pre-workout. Okay. You're just not going to get any pump out of it. Okay. Telling me if I want to lose fat, this is what I need. That is, the, that's the good one. But it's not going to be one that's going to have you like super stemmed out. Sour Dazzle, that good flavor? The, that is the best, it tastes just like sweet tarts. The is best it? tasting stuff you'll ever see. All right, well, let me show them then. Whoop, Duraline, look at this, guys. Sour Dazzle flavor. Apparently, this is supposed to be the best stuff they got. So this is what I'm buying per Mr. Supplement Man's recommendation himself. And they also got Raz Lemon. And Raz Lemon, how's the Raz Lemon? I haven't had it. Cool, so we're definitely doing this then. Look for a full review on the channel, guys. You'll be seeing me, I'll probably start this tomorrow. It'll be in tomorrow's video. Yeah, this one will come out, it'll be in tomorrow's video. And then we will kind of compare, contrast, and see how this works compared to the rule one that I have ran in the past for cuts, so. Awesome, man. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Always. Always. Team Dry Scoop? Team Dry Scoop. Team Dry Scoop's feeling rough. <laughs> feeling rough. Feeling well, rough. hopefully I don't get what you had, man. I really don't want that. No. I can't be sick. I'm on a video. We're at like 128 videos in 128 days. No. Jeez, yeah. I, I can't be sick. You, you would you would die trying to keep that oh, straight. Oh, heck up. yeah, I would die. They'd catch me in bed with a bowl of Campbell's soup and like a hot towel on my head. I could be on my deathbed. I'm still blind. Right, you're still headed. You're still headed. <laughs> like, all right, guys, God meet goodness. the doctor. <laughs> and real fast, for those of you that have never been in a Subzilla before, look at all of this selection. They got protein bars for days, especially some of my favorite ones here we got. Oh, man, if you've never had a Combat Crunch Cinnamon Twist, I'm telling you, out of every protein bar I've ever had, this one probably still is my favorite. Holds a special place in my heart always. Got your protein cookies. Ooh, and what's this, huh? They carry RJ Fit Apparel, what? How come I didn't get the memo about this? Someone better be paying me something for this. And we got some Subzilla shirts. And look at all of this selection, guys. You guys always wonder how I get all the good hookups on protein, I always get to try out the new stuff. I know what's good and what's bad. It's because they have everything. Look at all this. Look at all this. Even, you can even come in here if you don't want to buy. If this website, you have a Subzilla near you, walk in here and get pure aminos here. Look at this. They carry all the flavors as well. So, gosh, man. This is one heck of a story you got here, bud. Man, I'm just trying to do my best. <laughs> just trying to do your best. We were doing a great job. Appreciate that. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to take my fat burner and I am out of here. Say goodbye to the people. Later. And people say goodbye to him. There we go. They said it. I'm okay. just, I gave him a three second jump on it. I didn't hear it. <laughs> Later, brother. See you guys. Okay guys, back in the car and it is about 6.30 at night and I still haven't done any editing today. So now, what my day is gonna consist of is going home, eating a little bit of food, getting my nutrition in and then editing and it's a full day of eating video I shot yesterday so I'm gonna have probably a decent amount of time editing that. So I'll probably finish my edit. Oh man, I hate to even think about that. Probably around 8.39 and upload time probably like 10. But hey, the grind continues. And people ask me all the time, like, you always say you're so busy, but all you do is make these videos. How could you be so busy? And people don't even understand the amount of time and just like thinking up content. Guys, I am on, I, I've lost track. We're in the 120s on videos in a row, right? Videos I posted, edited, produced, put out in a day in a row. Coming up with ideas and just like being creative and stuff like that, like it's, it's a little more difficult than you would think, but uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. So I love what I do. I'm blessed to have this opportunity. And for as long as I'm able, to keep doing this, I'm gonna do it, so. But with that, I need to end this vlog, that way I can go get some work done and get some R&R time myself. So be on the lookout for the review for this uh, fat burner, guys. This is an awesome fat burner from the same people that make Limitless, which is, like I've told you before, one of my favorite pre-workouts. I haven't taken it in a while, but it'll be the next one I buy. So I like to cycle off of it and cycle back onto it because I'll explain all this at a later date. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Shredding Season, and I promise you a lot more good stuff coming soon. So as always, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. With that, I am out of here. This has been a Remington James production, and I will see you guys at the next video. See you guys.